Hey guys, welcome. I'm Andrea and today I'm going to review one of those um, hyped up foundations. This is from Dior and it's the uh, uh, matte foundation. I have a sample size here, my B, <laughs> uh, and the color that I thought I was and I picked was is 2WP. So I have a, a little um, half a Q-tip here and I'm gonna mix it to make sure that it's you know it's mixed properly. So um, I'm gonna do one side with my hands and then the other side with like a um, brush and. We'll see which one looks the best. So I'm gonna start with the brush on this side. Um, I am light skin with um, yellow undertones. Wow, this has a fragrance, like a, a really strong fragrance actually. It smells good, but <laughs> I don't think this is, it's not my brush cleaner. No, it's not. I had to check, make sure. I didn't think it was, but. Yeah, it definitely has like a big time um, smell. I mean, it's it's a nice smell, but why put it in there, guys? Like, I don't I don't really need my products to smell good. I just want them to work good. So I'm gonna actually just go underneath my eye with it. It's supposed to be really um, matte and really hold up good. And now that it's like really summer in the full depths of summer and um, it's really hot outside, I'm really looking for something that holds up good and you don't have to worry, you know, about it um, starting to melt off your face <laughs> in like two to three hours. So I'm really curious to see how this will do since it's really raved about and really hyped up, so. I do recommend you get a sample size anytime that you want to try a product because one, you could be allergic to, and two, um, they're just way too expensive and too much waste if you're not gonna wear it, you know? And then to try to return it, and that's a waste as well, so. Yeah. Get a sample size, and then you can take it from there if you really like it and go ahead and do a full size. Plus, the shades are so like crazy and you really can't figure out what, what the shade you are when you're just looking online most of the times. Yeah. Okay, so it does uh, look a little yellow. I'm not sure if this looks properly or not. I think it does. It looks nice. And a little more on this. And it, it really sets quite a quite fast actually. Let's see the nose. Hmm. It's set already. Like big time. So you definitely want to work fast with it. Hmm. Okay. I actually kinda like it. Of course, I can't tell right now because it's just <laughs> it's just started. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, fingers for this side and see how that goes. Oh gosh, it smells, but but I like the smell of it. <laughs> I don't like smells on my products, but I like the smell of it. It smells really nice. It's kind of very perfumey, like like a nice perfume that you would wear. So they trick you that way. What's that, baby? I said Just a perfume that you wear, normal. Okay, let's see. I think I need a little more to have the same coverage like I have on that side.
really sets fast. And if you're hearing pages turning, it's because some little one is reading next to me here. Okay. Um, I think it actually looks good. Now, let me look really closely. But it seems like it looks good with both. Though my hand actually did a better job um, on my nose. It seems a little crackly here. I'm gonna get in close, but I'm not sure if you can tell that or not. But it's like a little crackly here, then here. And it looks shiny in the camera, in the phone camera, but it's really not shiny. It's got an iridescence to it, but not much, really. My eyes uh, seem like they could use a little more coverage. Oops, that's a lot. It's set, guys, it's set really quickly. It's all set. Let's see my redness here. I always get like a redness around my nose, both sides. And they seem like they're quite the same. It also seems just a tiny bit heavy here. So I'd say the hand actually did better. Now, I don't know if you're using a, um, like a sponge or not. I don't really use a, like a blender, beauty blender sponge. I don't really use those, but if you do use it, um, I'd be curious to know how it actually works with that. But, oh, I need to blend a little more here. It blends really nicely, really easily. It doesn't really uh, pull or peel or anything. I already have sunscreen underneath. Uh, and it, I've let it set for like at least 15 minutes. So um, it's all nice and set. So the color seems to be really nice actually, matching good. I think I matched, I did good in the matching compartment. I always match myself on the neck when I um, get a sample or get a sample. <laughs> because um, that's where you actually have your, your, your coloring that you want to match to. You don't want to match um, your neck to your face. You want to match your face to your neck. So you want to, you know, uh, try it on your neck and then match that. So you feel like it's kind of blending in and you don't really see it. That's how you want to do it. So yeah, really nice, like really, really nice, you guys. Uh, feels just a tiny bit tacky, but I just put it on. Not, not tacky per se. It's not really sticky. It's just kind of, it's not dry. Let's just put it that way. It's kind of like a satin. And it looks really nice, actually. Um, as far as coverage, it covered really good. I still like the um, the hand side better than the brush. It feels like it looks like it's more natural, more um, less heavy. Hmm. We'll see how it lasts, but um, so far, really good, really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on, and then. Um, We'll see how it actually does and how it looks with um, everything. So um, I will see you soon. Uh, this is how the actual foundation looks with all of the makeup on. Uh, I can tell that it went really, really smooth. Nothing dragged, nothing uh, got stuck. Though my my eyes though, because I, I did not set and I don't know how, because I always do. But then I started doing my eyes and I forgot because I could tell that there was a little tug in there. Um, and uh, it didn't go as smooth as I um, usually have it. But uh, even with that, uh, it, it went down as soon as the brush started moving and the eyeshadow started mixing in there, blending in there, it, it went good. So I don't think that you need to set these. I'm not gonna set it because I don't, uh, I don't feel like I need to set it. I don't feel like it needs setting. Uh, it's, um, it's set on its own so much that I don't feel like I should set it. I'm afraid that if I set it, it's gonna be too drying and I definitely don't wanna go into that, uh, into that route. So even with it being underneath my eyes, um, I feel like it's still doing good. Maybe I should set underneath my eyes. What do you guys think? I feel like maybe, maybe I'll set this one. 
Let's set this one up and then we'll see the difference. I'm gonna use this uh, Vapor uh, Perfecting Powder. It's the um, uh, pressed powder. Oh my gosh, a bunch of it came out. <laughs> it is old. Okay, brush. All right, so I'm gonna use this brush. It's the um, highlighting brush from e.l.f. Uh, this is kind of like the type of brush that I use. Don't breathe that in. Um, when I wanna set underneath my eyes because it's not dense and it won't um, cause cakiness in there. So you want something to be like really airy and light so that it sets nicely. Okay. I'll just do that. Just underneath that eye. Should I do the other eye? <laughs> no, I'm tempted. <gasps> you know what, I'll do the eyes. I'll, I'll go on the other eye too. There we go. Because I always set my eyes and I don't want it to be like runny and all that and cause my mascara to kind of start to run because it's not set. So here's how it looks with the um, um, whole makeup on. I think it looks really nice. We'll see how it wears, but man, it really looks nice. Uh, it still has like radiance to it. It still is um, comfortable on the skin. It's not um, crackly. It's not um, nothing. It's just, it's a nice look, but I'll come back in about three to four hours or later to check out and um, We'll take it from there. It's been four hours since I put this uh, makeup on. So let's look and see how the foundation were. Um, so if you remember this side, I did it with the brush and this side I did it with my fingers. Now the side with the brush um, seems more heavy. So it kind of broke down a bit on the nose here. Um, especially and that's where actually it looked more shiny when I applied it like right away. It looked like it was more heavy on the nose here. And you can tell there's a little bit of a gatheredness. Not a lot though, which is really awesome. And then uh, this one doesn't seem as much. Now I have oily T-zone, so it is oily on the T-zone. Um, I did not blot there. I did blot underneath my eyes. And um, it seems like it's, it's wearing pretty good. I mean, yes, I have like little, I have, I have fine lines. So anytime that I squint or anything, it will like crackle in there. But um, other than that, it really didn't wear bad at all. And I'm really surprised because it's a foundation. It's not a concealer or anything like that. So it's not really meant to go underneath your eyes. But uh, yeah, um, even the, the eyes, I, I put the foundation on the eyes. So, and I did not set. I forgot to set before I put my eyeshadow. And um, there, it's actually holding out really nice. And it's been four hours. And uh, the makeup is still there. It's just as intense as I put it in. Um, I think maybe a tiny bit less. I'll have to look at the footage actually. What, I, what I'm seeing in the mirror is like it's the same, but I could be wrong. But it definitely looks still nice and it wore, uh, it wore really nice. So whatever it is that even, even the little bunchiness here, it's really not bad. I'll come in close, maybe you can see. I'm not sure if you can see. You can see it's shiny. It definitely is shiny. Now I have two different um, sunscreens on because I'm testing it to see how it actually looks. Um, but um, yeah, this side is a little more shiny because the sunscreen that I put on was a little more radiant than this side, but both of them are um, a little um, radiant, a little like, actually I could say that I'm, I'm oily in the T-zone. Um, let's look at this. It looks nice though, you guys. Even with the uh, shininess and that, it still looks nice. Like my chin looks really nice, which usually uh, it breaks down here too because I have it oily skin there too. But it really looks nice. And up here too, it's just my nose, especially the tip of my, my nose, <laughs> all of my nose. <laughs> it looks like really shiny. And then in the, um, in my cheeks a bit here. So, but it looks really nice though. I mean, let me uh, take a, a blot and then I'll, I'll blot and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, let's see. This is the sun, uh, the, the part with, um, um, 
with a shinier or more radiant sunscreen and then this one is with the other a less less shine on this side i'm gonna blot it all it's not as oily as i thought because it looked really shiny when i looked in the in the um camera there but it's really not as shiny as i thought it was And that's probably all I'm gonna do. Just my oily T-zone, just to kind of see how it looks. I'm not going to um, put any powder on or anything. I'm just gonna let it wear and see how it actually wears afterwards. Uh, I can tell that there's kind of less coverage on here, but very tiny bit. I really didn't put a lot. I didn't really cover up that good either at the beginning. So it's, uh, it's definitely poking a tiny bit through but now maybe you can see the um the bunchiness that i was talking to you about but it's just a like, almost like a crackling like it could be maybe some dry skin that's cut up on but not on this side and this is with the with the hand so uh it looks like this foundation does much better with the hands than it does with um the brush or anything um, I'm not using sponges, so I don't know how that would do, but yeah, um, so far it's really nice. Um, we actually, we went outside for a walk and it was quite warm and I uh, got a little sweaty too. So the walk was quite long and it was a, a fast pace because we were walking the dog and, <laughs> and he wanted to go fast. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it does really good. And also I forgot to tell you, I wore glasses and you really can't tell the, the glass. I feel really, 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 really looking. Then maybe you see a tiny bit, but I'm not really seeing it. I'm not really seeing it. Usually it's like really indentation there from um, the product, uh, you know, bunching in from the sunglasses, but nope, nothing there. So um, the uh, makeup is still there. I still have my bronzer and my blush. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking really good guys. We'll see what it does by the end of the day. Uh, we'll wear it for a little longer. Hopefully I'll still have light to actually show you how it looks like. Um, it's actually been more than four hours. Yeah. So anyways, um, maybe I'll see you later. And if the light starts to go down, maybe I'll just do an earlier check-in. Three plus hours since the last check-in, which puts us to, um, eight plus hours of wear on this uh, foundation. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is crackling. So um, I blotted last time. So three plus hours in and it's very, very, very shiny. So um, <laughs> I know I, I have kind of like lights everywhere because it's really dark outside and I'm trying to get, you know, as much lighting possible so that we can actually see. But yeah, it's really, um, really shiny really oily i should say i'm gonna take a blotting paper and i'll just uh, do it on one side so that you can see actually um it's like it's stuck so you can tell that it's really um let's see how we do this really oily i'm also gonna do it um not just on uh, that spot but the nose and the forehead and all that i'm just gonna do half of it so we can see the difference actually but yeah, it's it's very, very oily. Uh, seems like since the last check-in that we did, um, it got like double, double, um, <laughs> double shiny. Um, as far as coverage goes, uh, it's pretty much stayed the same, even though there's a lot of, um, a lot of oiliness or a lot of shininess. So let's see, do we see that? It's, it's definitely taken the shine a big time down. Uh, it's still a, a little um, shiny, a little like, um, but not as much as it was, but you can tell from this side to that side. The wear is actually really nice. So the uh, coverage that was three hours plus ago, it's still there. There's nothing um, broken down really. I should have just come closer earlier before I blotted, but uh, you can see that this side hasn't been blotted, but it's not 
it's not cakey and it's not bunched up, which it's really, really surprising because um, usually when there's so much oiliness coming through, uh, it definitely breaks down the formula and it just kind of starts to bunch up places and then it also starts to um, look heavy places. But this one really did not. Now I wonder if I would have powdered how that would have been because under the eyes it looks really good actually. I see a little bit of mascara smudge here. A uh, tiny bit here, not that much. But definitely um, I held up much better than the rest of my face. So um, probably blot, even though it feels like you don't need it, blot for longevity. If you have oily skin, I mean, even the perimeter of my face has gotten like shiny and stuff, so probably all over then, because I have dry skin. Well, actually kind of regular, normal skin over there, not really dry, dry, but yeah, it definitely looks nice. So yeah, guys, this is it. Um, you wanna wear it and you want longevity, uh, this will look nice, but also um, powder. Powder at the beginning, that will give you the longevity and the coverage will stay there. So this is it for this foundation. I think Dior the, did really good with this one, the matte one. I don't know the other ones, I'm not familiar, but uh, this uh, Forever Matte, it's really, really nice actually. So even with the oiliness, um, I still like the way it wore. You know, it, I still have my, my, <laughs> my everything. I mean, I have my um, um, bronzer and my blush and uh, with so much, you know, coming through, you wouldn't think that would stay there, but it did, so. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got something out of it and um, stick around and I'll see you guys next time.